Hey creative, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. Today we're going to unbox and talk about the Uninet iColor 560 white toner printer. Of course, I'll have everything I use listed in the description box below. And if you like this video you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that bell notifications on so you don't miss any of my upcoming craft tutorials. Everyone, welcome our newest addition to the laboratory. This is the Uninet 560 white toner printer and we're going to do some amazing things with her. I think I'll call her unique or should it be unique? But this is her straight out of the box. She wasn't very heavy so one person can do the job of lifting. The first thing you'll notice is your quick start guide. It is a front and back, and this is going to walk you through the whole process of how to set up your printer, okay? And I literally read through this while I was going through setting up my printer, so there's nothing I can tell you that this quick start guide can't, okay? And make sure you keep it, don't throw it away because it does have your activation code for your white toner class and you'll need this code when you're installing the software. So it's super important, so keep it on you at all times okay and you'll also receive this white toner beginners notebook which has some tips and tricks about your printer how to use it some really useful information and it has a section in the back where you can write your own notes about projects that you've done and you'll also get this little pamphlet right here as well as far as setting up the printer is super simple y'all all you have to do is remove several pieces of tape from the back the sides and the inside on your white cartridge and again your quick start guide will have this will have all this information for you okay and now to be completely honest and transparent with you guys uninet did reach out to me and give me this printer i had the option of getting this one or the bigger one but i know that this printer is an investment so i opted to get the smaller one to show you how you how the, even this one can be super beneficial to you and your business so if you love the videos on this one and you're still shopping around you know you'll have the information of uh, you need to go ahead and choose which one is best for you now also in your box you're going to get a couple of cords your power cord printer usb cord and an ethernet cord you're also going to get an extra toner cartridge okay so there's already four inside your printer when you get it but you're going to get this one and it's the k toner cartridge okay so the k is the black ink so if you wanted to turn your printer to cmyk that would allow you to print on white paper to essentially use it as a laser printer okay so you can print on white paper uh you know just regular print documents or if you want it to save some toner if you're just printing something in all black you can pop in the k cartridge and you will be able to do that and the cartridges are like just pop in pop out very simple to use okay so if you order a white toner printer bottle which you definitely should because then you'll be able to just basically be up and ready to go you'll receive this uh silicone craft paper a t-seal sheet which helps lock in your design into the fibers of your shirt makes it softer a little bit more stretchable durable and last longer you'll also receive your a and b paper and since the eye color 560 can only print a maximum of um, eight and a half by 14 that's the max size paper we'll be using and on your paper box it does have a qr code where you can go ahead and scan that and get some directions on how to use that as well but of course i have several tutorials coming up to show that to you guys as well okay so that's pretty much it for the printer setup so then you'll go ahead on your computer and you will need to go to icolorprint.com backslash setup to go ahead and download all of your uh, the software like all the essential files that you'll be needing uh, to use your white toner printer and so once you download your essentials and again this is on the quick start guide and it does walk you through the entire process okay so once you go ahead and download your essentials it actually has a manual in there okay so it has an instruction manual on how to use the rip software that comes with your uh, uninet printer all right but one thing that's not on there that's kind of that was a little bit confusing when it asks for your product code that is going to be on your quick start activation your quick start guide so make sure you have that handy and don't throw it out 
And when it asks for your serial number, your serial number is on your box, okay? And you're actually supposed to, they actually recommend keeping your box as well, just in case you need to send your printer back um, and it, so it won't get damaged and void out the warranty or anything. So your serial number is on your box. They're going to give you the system um, ID and you will need all of that to uh, get your activation code to go ahead and get your... ProRef software, but again, they walk you through all of that in this uh, software guide and on your quick start guide, okay? So that's pretty much it as far as that, but here's a little bit more information about the white toner printer for you guys. So the 560 has a maximum of 8.5 by 14 inch paper, and the 650 has a maximum of 11.8 and can go up to 52 inches long if you want to do banners, wow. but our longest transfer paper is 19 inches. Wow. Now, let's say you want to go with the 560, but you want to use, you want to have oversized prints, something that is beyond the capabilities that the 560 can print. Luckily, both printers come with a program called SmartCut. And what it'll do is take your oversized image and split it in such a way that you could reassemble it on the shirt. It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle around certain edges and colors so that there's no seam, right? So if you're doing occasional oversized shirts, the 560 is gonna be a good option using SmartCut. However, if you're doing mostly oversized shirts, it might be better to just do it all in one and go with the 650. And when you say oversized, what like two? Bigger X, than three bigger three than letter size. Full prints. size um, image on your shirt. Right. So anything better than bigger than like an A4 or letter size page. If you're doing a double X, triple X, that's going to look very tiny on your shirt. So you want something bigger. So you either use Smart Cut. You know, this comes with Smart Cut too, but generally you don't need it because we have much larger transfer paper. So we call it overprint because of how it exits the machine. Mm -hmm. But iColor has a patent on the fact that you can swap these toners out and allow you to do underprint as well. So that's for water slide customers, people who want to print invitations on dark or clear material where you need white printed first, not last. That has nothing to do with transfers on a shirt. Mm -hmm. It's all printing onto different types of media. And for swapping out the toners, you said, can they both use sublimation cartridges? They can. So you can swap it out with dye sublimation cartridges. Just by switching the four cartridges, it allows you to convert the printer into a dye sublimation printer. But there's several advantages of toner dye sublimation. One, <clears throat> the toner doesn't expire. So with your ink, you usually have a one year life on it. Number two, your toners are gonna to be much, much higher yield. You're talking 7,000 pages with the 560 and 10,000 pages with the 650. Wow. Much faster. Your sawgrass is gonna print two minutes per page. Mm -hmm. And these are printing 25, 30 pages per minute. What? Yes, wow. pretty time. Okay. So you swap the white with the black when, you, when you're not doing transfer, you just wanna use it as a laser okay. printer, okay? CMYK? CMYW or CMYK. Okay. Not five at a time, only four. Okay. okay. We also have gold and silver cartridges. This yep. is not for transfer, this is for printing on paper. Yep. So think like invitations and, you know, uh, it could be uh, unclear or dark material as well. If you want gold or silver on a shirt, we have Presto paper, which is kind of like a vinyl alternative. And it's like a one color design that you press gold, silver, metallic, mm -hmm. all these cool colors that the printer can't produce. You just print in true black on the sheet and it's just like coated with that silver material. You press to the B sheet just like you would with regular paper and press it to your shirt. Uh, all of these printers come with the White Toner Masterclass for free. It's a six and a half hour online class that teaches you from soup to nuts on how to use the printer, file formats, how to use the rib, and we're always adding to it as well. So we used to sell it separately with this machine. We've just now in included it with the 650 for the same price. It comes with the 560 as well. So you're getting the Pro Rip software. With this one, you're getting the Essentials Pro Rip, which is a dongleless version of it. The 650 soon will have dongles, but right now it is a it is a USB drive. Now they both come with Smart Cut, and they both come with the Master Class as well. And you know, when you buy the printer from any one of our dealers, they usually have have a package put together with some paper and things that you need to get started. You don't want to just buy the printer itself. You need at least paper, craft paper, a tea seal. That's probably the basics of what to get. All right, guys, so that was the spiel. Thank you so much, Craig, for giving us the rundown on all the, well, on your Uninet white toner printers. Sure. And we'll definitely be having more videos coming soon.
happy to help. 